So this is a quick tutorial on how to draw teeth. What I'm doing is teeth from a human skull. Slightly exaggerated teeth, slightly exaggerated skull. Very stylized, very tattoo, tattoo related. What I usually do is I sketch out the, the geometry of the piece first. The block work. Some people go pretty crazy with their sketching. I keep it fairly simple. So I got the top jaw and the bottom jaw. Now I'm drawing the teeth. Just figuring out little loose shapes where I want the teeth to go in. Give them sort of vampire fangs. Makes them a little more interesting. Going up to the the sides of the teeth. One mistake I see a lot of people doing when they're drawing teeth and skulls is they end up doing way too many teeth. And it starts looking like a piano mouth or a mouth full of Tic Tacs. I like to keep them simple, I like to keep them interesting. Now I'm moving on to my brush pen. I like using these brush pens because they're they give you a nice line weight, nice variety of thick to thin. I find it gives a little more life to the lines. A lot of comic artists like to use a number, I think a number two um, watercolor paintbrush, sable hair. I prefer these uh, calligraphy pens for Japanese kanji. So I'm trying to get some interesting shapes in the teeth here. Little cracks, little angles and uh, hooks. Little C shapes in the uh, cheekbones there. And that would be upwards to where the nasal cavity leads into. I go a little crazy with my texture, you don't have to, you can keep it simple. Sometimes I like to make the teeth missing, kind of adds a little interest. In this case I think I gave them a full set of teeth, full set of gnashers. Onto the bottom jaw. So the teeth on the on the bottom side are usually a little smaller than the top teeth, a little skinnier. And they sort of uh, fan out a little bit, I find, at the top and the bottom. And then your your back molars, you know, very, very cube-like, flat surface, little divots on the top. I'm going a little crazy on the, uh, you know, the gum line there. Oftentimes the bottom, the bottom jaw is a little smoother than the top jaw, but that's yeah, all fun. Adding some hatch lines in now. A little shading in the nasal cavity. A little hint of. Uh, side of the jawbone. And filling in the inside of the mouth. Anyway, if you like the video, comment below if there's any other tutorials of how to draw things you want to see me do, let me know. Comment below, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.